<laughs> Sometimes we have to entertain ourselves, you know, to get us in the mood. I hope you're in the mood today. Thank you for joining me and I'm going to have hair all over me during this video. So stick around. Well, hi lovelies. Yes, there is pampas grass everywhere in the studio, on my lips and everywhere, but look, we have to have a little bit of crack and cheer everybody up on this Wednesday evening. Hi everybody, Mwah. you're so welcome and welcome back. And yes, today we are talking about five, 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 Chanel bags I love, but would never buy. So it's gonna be fun, real, real fun one today. And I've got that Friday feeling, which I just love, 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 and I'm waiting on the delivery man for a very um, special package. So I've asked my son, he's at home sick today because he is sick. <laughs> and uh, I've asked him to keep an eye on the old doorbell downstairs so that if my lovely package that I'm expecting comes that he'll answer and the delivery man, delivery man won't run away. So in the meantime, I would love to give a shout out today to Jennifer Kennedy. Hi Jennifer, how are you? Mwah. Thank you so much for always commenting down below. I always read your lovely kind comments. And if you want to shout out anybody else, come on, press the subscribe button. It really helps us out here and we're working hard. Press the like button and the comments. Um, always join in the chat because it helps us with the old Mrs. YouTube algorithm. She likes people to engage. She likes to see that you're enjoying our content and I hope you are because otherwise, what the hell am I doing this for? <laughs> so without further ado, let's start with the beautiful fragrance of the day. And she is none other than, I've gone for a change for an Hermes today and we've gone for L'Ombre de Merveille. I hope I didn't butcher that. And she comes in this stunning, stunning bottle. It's amber, vanilla, labdomen and patchouli. She is a woody, powdery, balsamic beauty and she is unisex. She's sweet and spicy and warm. Do you know what? She's like a warm, golden embrace. That's what this beauty is like. She really is. I'm going to Try and keep her away from my jewellery today. I'm wearing my beautiful Isabel Styles and a Louisa, and I'm wearing my Masoma. I'll link them down below for anyone that's interested. But yeah, she's like a warm, golden embrace on an autumn day, autumn winter. I know we're coming into now, and she's just really exquisitely beautiful. You could wear this one easily, absolutely no problem. Going for dinner, with a meal with friends, going to work. She's an all rounder. And she's one of those that stays close to the skin, but never annoys, you know, that's important. Some of these fragrances are overpowering and just too much. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants somebody who's hanging around for too long or, you know, outstaying their welcome. No, we don't want that here. So without further ado, the five handbags from Chanel that I love, but will never buy. What are they? Well, first up, and yes, we're gonna have some chat and some crack with this one and Probably maybe some of my opinions are unpopular, but that's why I love this community because we educate each other and we're allowed freedom of speech and I'm allowed to give my opinion, you're allowed to give yours and we learn from each other and that's what I love. So number one first up with me that I'm never going to buy is the absolutely beautiful and elegant Coco Handle. Why, Viv, says you? Well, to be honest, first of all, and I did bring out a bit of eye candy, you know, to show you and also to kind of explain my reasoning behind some of these decisions. And first of all, well, yes, I have this beautiful mini top handle that I am so in love with. I have to say, I just adore it. I couldn't be happier that I bought this bag. I think they'd fit in and around the same capacity if I was to go for the mini top handle. And I just really love the shape of this. I'm not sure I like the aesthetic of the uh, cocoa handle. It's that triangular trapeze kind of, you know, I, I don't know. And it's got two compartments inside. I don't know why they just didn't do the one inside here. They just have one, which is really, really handy. I know it's a slip pocket there at the back, but that's just for your credit cards. I just think aesthetically wise. Now down the road, again, you know, never say never. You might go, Viv, you could change your mind. And I could, but at the moment, because I have this and because I have my trendy CC as well, 
Uh, these would be my choices. Obviously, this is you, Viv, because you have them. But these would be my choices, as in top handles, as in elegant bags that I would choose and have chosen before the cocoa handle. I just don't know if I'd get the wear of the cocoa handle and I think I would reach for these first before I'd reach for the cocoa handle. I could be wrong, I could be very wrong, but I'm just saying this is my opinion at the moment and why I haven't bought her. Um, but I would love to hear from you guys. Um, are you getting the use out of yours? Are you getting the cost per wear? I don't know, for some reason, she just reminds me of a little granny bag or something. I don't know. It's just me. It's just hard to get stuff in and out of and it's more aesthetically with the cocoa handle. They're very very cute, they're dinky, all the rest of it, but I prefer my mini top handle here in the rectangle. I just do. I just think she's a beauty and she, I suppose as well, because she's so reminiscent of the classic flap. That's probably another reason. My number two bag of Chanel that I love but will never buy is the Gabrielle and I'm going to put a picture up here because if there was one bag in the Gabrielle that and I have said before that I would buy, it would be in the combination of the white and black because I think it is so beautiful in that color combo. The chains on this bag are to die for. I think it is a stunning, stunning bag and I have said about that white and black before the combination, it is so beautiful. Hobo style, I am not, I'm just not a huge lover of hobo style. Never really have been. I know I had my beautiful Gucci and that was kind of hobo style. I've sold that since. And I just think like I'm getting my fix at the moment chain wise with this. And you know, you all know how much I love my Chanel 19s, both of them. And I'm getting my fix of the Ruthenium and the mixed hardware from the Chanel 19s. I love the leather break in this one and what I love is the smushiness, the comfort, the practicality of this bag. I just, I swear to God, I can't get over this bag. I really can't, I adore it. This one in particular is the goat skin and my other one, the 21P, is the lamb skin. A little bit obviously, you know, more delicate than the goat skin. This one is just I've said before that I actually have to stop myself from carrying this bag. She is so good. She really, really is. She's a workhorse and look at it. She has stuff inside there. My beautiful um, insert from Zumoni and I have a discount code down below for you guys. I have them in all my bags to keep the shape. And so with the Gabrielle, I think it is because when it stands and the bottom base part of it is quite hard and then the top leather part is soft and so when it stands, it starts to slouch. Some people probably love that look. Again, it's always personal, subjective, but it starts to slouch and lose its shape. And I think that's one of the, one of the big things that holds me back with that bag is the chains are just fabulous. Now, I'm not mad either on that double crossover, you know, couture catwalk look. I couldn't see myself doing that. But then again, I'm not 17, am I? Like, no far from it. But anyway, I can't see myself wearing it like that even though I do love a crossbody. I know Fashionably Amy has two and she absolutely raves about both of hers. So it's each to their own really but as I said if I was ever to get it down the road I think it would be in the white and black but I can't see myself as I said because I have my fix with the chains and the Chanel 19 and would I reach for it? I, I don't know. I mean, how, how do any of us know until we actually have the bag? But I can't see myself. I do love the little zipper detail with the, the CC, the double CC on it. But would it annoy me trying to get in and out of that bag with, with the zip? I prefer a turn lock. I'm, a, I'm definitely a turn locker and I love a flap. And yeah, so I just, they're the reasons I haven't, I haven't reached out for that bag and I haven't bought her. But again, look at, she is a stunner. And again, the, the leather in the um, Gabrielle is quite vintagey looking. I've nothing, no problem with vintage. As you know, I have my beautiful Chanel, the red vintage. But in that one, it's, it's, you know, it's quite, it can be kind of old looking even when it's quite new. So they're my reasons for not having that. I'd love to hear yours. Let me know down below if you have any of these bags. And again, if you do, it's just my opinion. I don't have them. So says you, well then what are you talking about? But they're the reasons I haven't bought them at the moment. Now, number three, moving on from the Gabrielle is none other than, and this bag is hugely popular. So I could get in an awful lot of trouble for this one. I'm just going to hide here for a minute. Just, just you know, don't kill for me, please. <laughs> I uh, can never see myself buying the business affinity. Now, 
I have heard from people how practical, how durable, how versatile this bag is. Uh, you don't have to worry about it. She's a real workhorse. She fits so much inside. And it's a beautiful bag. Um, aesthetically for me, again, it's never ever been one that I've gone, wow. I've actually kind of gone, it's very bulky looking and it's very wide and it's very, the pocket on the front almost looks like it's stuck on. And I suppose I have my Pochette Matisse and Louis Vuitton for that kind of a boxy shape, like, you know, to carry a lot, it's durable, it's versatile. And with the Business Infinity, to be honest with you, mainly it's like yeah aesthetically it's not my thing uh i prefer obviously the bags that i have that kind of style more a little bit more elegant it's quite casual looking even though i'm very very casual sometimes but it just does nothing for me it has feet on the end and i've heard from people as well because the leather bit at the bottom of the bag is quite soft that sometimes the actual bag topples over and i can imagine it does because it has its front heavy with the pocket and when you load it, I'm sure it can just, like I've seen in videos, it just fall over. So that can be kind of annoying, you know? Then it has these two little poppers on either side. Now again, I'm sure it's aesthetically, make, like, if you wear it crossbody or on the shoulder, it's to make it, you know, more slimline looking, not as bulky looking, but they always pop open. So they're kind of pointless. I, the design feature doesn't really work. Because even though that's to make it look, in my opinion, more slender and they pop open, well, what's, what's the point? So the pocket is what really just doesn't do it for me. The, the strap isn't detachable. And um, for some people that would be annoying because obviously if you're shorter or if you're taller, depending, you need to detach a strap and attach a different size uh, strap so that it will suit your body shape and type and height. The interior of the bag as well, a lot of the business infinities were microfiber now i think lately they're leather but a lot of them were microfiber which i wouldn't really like in my chanel bag to be honest either i like i know inside my chanel 19 and i love it actually it's material but it's just the lightness of that bag is is unreal anyway i just can't fold that bag should fold that bag just like my favorite child so uh yeah it's more of the aesthetic the pocket that i have the problem with in the business affinity it has just never ever um appealed to me really has never appealed to me and I don't think it ever will. But again, let me know, because as I said, I know it's a very popular bag. I know it's practical, I know it's versatile, I know it's durable and all the above. Now, moving on to number four. Number four is none other than the reissue. Now, hold on, hold on. People out there that are saying the reissue is the best Chanel bag that was ever made. And it very well may be. Again, I do not have this bag. The reasons I haven't bought it yet, and I have looked at the reissue in the mini, I do think it's beautiful. I really, really do. And it's obviously a lot more understated than the Chanel double CC lock, turn lock. The aged leather, the vintage look, sometimes for me is like, mm. you see, it's one of those like one day I love it and the next day I'm like, well, I'm not really into that bag. And I'm afraid to pull the trigger on it because you bring it home and then the next day it's, not really into that bag. So yeah, I just think if I was ever again to buy that bag, I'll tell you one that I just adore and I obviously have this theme going on, but I'm sure you saw, and I actually think, I did talk about this in another video, the white shearling reissue, the 2021, oh my God. Now that is to die for. Um, if I was ever to buy a Chanel bag, or if anybody wants to gift me that bag, no problem, no problem. I'll take that bag, no problem. But I mean, Practically wise, how the hell are you gonna clean that bag? Really, I love the way the shearling is on top of the leather. It is just, it screams elegance. It screams, you know, the ski slopes. It screams just Chanel. It is just so, so beautiful. And if you have the right mindset, the confidence and the attitude, you can totally get away wearing this bag. But for me, I, I mean, first of all, I, where am I gonna wear it to the shops every day? Uh, so no, I wouldn't be buying that bag, but if I was to buy a Chanel reissue, that would be the one I would love. I'm just not sure for me as well about the Mademoiselle lock. Again, a lot of people love it. Maybe I should try it, maybe I should give it a go, but they are my reasons on the Chanel reissue at the moment. Now, last but not least is none other than the boy bag. Why the boy bag? Well, first of all, the flap on the front flap, again, is very, very long. 
as you know with the trendy hair and with my Chanel 19 the flap comes halfway down whereas with the boy bag the flap comes all the way down and is quite heavy looking again I think that bag topples over a bit I think it's awkward to get in and out of with the big huge flap when you have it on your side and you're trying to pull it up and pull it down and also another reason I wouldn't buy it is I hear the chains are an absolute nightmare I've heard of stories when it's on your shoulder that it just literally wigs tuf tufts of hair out of your head, literally. It uh, catches in your hair constantly and it's heavy and it's annoying and it's loud and the corners of the bag are quite sharp so it's prone to a lot of corner wear as well. So as you can see on the Trendy CC it's beautiful and soft and rounded so there's absolutely no corner wear but sure how would there be I haven't used this bag much have I once I think so yes that's the reason I would not buy the boy bag also I think the boy bag it looks bulky even though I've heard it's quite lightweight particularly the small size it looks really really bulky and then doesn't fit that much on the inside so yeah again it's a bag i love to look at and actually just sweet lou has a beautiful one in black with gold hardware it is gorgeous but sure that girl could get away with anything she's so beautiful she could wear anything it's gorgeous the length of the flap uh, the chains uh, it's very very structured and yeah it's just not for me it's really not but i have to say when i see it on other people that i am one of those admirers you know from a distance from a distance don't do that babe don't do it don't do it <laughs> so that's it they are the five bags that i would never buy well not never never but i haven't bought i love them and i don't think i'd ever buy them and i'd love to hear your opinions down below on what you think and if you have them i want to hear i'd love even to hear now viv you're wrong on that one or this one or whatever because that's how we learn so that's it until next time let me know what you'd like to see or hear next what video you would like and in the meantime we're all getting ready for Christmas and it's lovely. The atmosphere is getting really, really nice around and I have my birthdays coming up, so I'm gonna have that video coming up and I'm gonna do a birthday haul. So hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the videos and the notifications bell. And as you know, for anybody who hasn't subscribed yet, I have a giveaway when we hit to 15,000 subscribers and that's gonna be hopefully very soon, hopefully before Christmas. And if it is, you'll be getting a lovely present that I bought for you. So until next time, be kind, be safe, be compassionate. Love you lots.